my name is Castro and I run the Card and Horses. Uh, we took over since 2016 and um, we were closed for a couple of years during Covid and for refurbishments and then we reopened last year in March. Uh, Iron Maiden started playing here in 75, late 75, 76 and they played here until 78, late 78 and then from here they moved to Ruskin Arms which is known as the but it's gone now, so it's not really existing anymore, Raskin Arms. But yeah, Maiden were here between 75, 76 till 78. We are trying to get the place where it should be, because back in the 70s and 80s, this place was very big for live music. And pretty much all the bands wanted to play here during that time, because it was the place to be. And we're trying to bring it back to that. We're trying to pretty much save live music and hopefully with the basement now we can get it there to give it a new up-and-coming bands let's say to give a bit of more options to come and play here so hopefully we can do that the carton horses first uh, i first become aware of it when a band called slowbone first played here and uh, it was a place to come on a friday night and it was absolutely packed there was people flocking onto the streets. Um, so that was uh, the, my first uh, awareness of the car, the first time I started coming down here. Um, about two or three years later, because I was about 15 when I first came down here, when I was about 17, I joined a band called Smiler. That was with Steve Harris. And uh, we'd done our first gig here. Um, that was on a uh, Sunday night. And it was quite, we went down quite well. So when Slowbone couldn't, uh, couldn't make the Friday night spot, we was asked to fill in for them. So that was uh, quite a good, uh, good beginning for the band Smiler. And uh, after about 30, 40 gigs, the Smiler disbanded. Uh, Steve decided he wanted to go off and form uh, another band. And Dennis left. That would be Dennis Wilkins left. Uh, and uh, Steve asked me if I wanted to join his new band. At the time, I didn't really want to I wanna have a break from the music scene, so he formed Iron Maiden. So the next time I came down here, I came down here and I saw Iron Maiden with, uh, with Steve. Yeah, and, and that was the beginning when it started to pack the place out. Yeah. I used to come down virtually every week to see him. So I knew the set pretty damn well. And uh, it was getting... They were getting such a good crowd. It was, uh, they had to get noticed sooner or later because so many people were coming down. You know, it was just amazing. But uh, I used to watch them and I always used to think, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind playing with this band. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I always bared it in mind. Yeah. The cart, basically everything for, for the East End. This pub is like, it's so many great bands have started here. And uh, not all of them have gone on to bigger things, but there's been some fantastic bands over the years. I mean, uh, you could come in here three or four nights a week and see top-notch talent. Um, I mean, I think the Stranglers played here. You know, there's, there's been some really good bands that's been here over the years. So now it's opened up again like it is. It's fantastic, you know, especially to be playing here again. And I think uh, Steve might be interested in playing here as well. The venue has taken off amazingly. From the beginnings, we were just playing upstairs. Uh, just on a, uh, just had a little drum rostrum and the band would play on the floor. Where the door is, that's where the stage. Yeah, that's where the stage was. Yeah, And you came in through the, both the side entrances. And now we've got this. It's, it's, this is amazing. This has really, really come on a long way. And uh, it deserves all the success, really. Being asked to uh, do the backing slot with uh, British Lion was a dream come true, really. You know, it was just so, such a fantastic honour to be uh, asked to do the tours, and we've been on about three or four now. So, um, yeah, long may it continue. It's such a, we always have a laugh, we always get on well, and it's just like the old days. You know, it's, uh, we're all a bit older, but um, yeah, it's, it's really good, really brilliant. Yeah.